Hey everyone, so it's that time again. I hope you enjoyed the bustling opportunity of Cataclysm Expansion launch. Thankfully, from the sounds of it, we won't have to wait too long until the next one. With Dragon Soul due out in January, it sounds like it's going to be one year maximum. Though, personally, I'm feeling increasingly uneasy about what's next. If anything, at all is next. Now, I suspect it's going to be Mr. Pandaria. The reason I think this is, firstly, because it really was heavily implied but also Mop Remix. So at the end of Classic Progression Cycle, where would our characters go? I'm supposing either to a static server or to retail, right? So it makes sense to do some kind of Mop, Transmog and Mount free-for-all right now while retail's quiet. Then that way, in two years' time, if they open the floodgates from Classic Progression to retail, no one's going to mind very much. I was already kind of mulling over this theory last year when they brought back the map knack sets and a lot of the other items that got removed in Classic, but seeing Mop Remix has definitely compounded that one for me. So I don't think I'm alone in this train of thought. Between longevity worries and what feels like a really big drop-off in active players, I'm noticing quite a large shift towards a more short-term economy on Cataclysm, and that's what I'm focusing on today in respect of gold making. So I'm going to start today with a quick Quick investment update and then go into a few gold making methods that are going to do well. Next I'm going to explain why I'm not farming anything right now and lastly I'll finish off just covering off how I'm playing Cataclysm right now, a quick sod update and my plans for the war within. So let's get started. Investments then. Okay I'm holding all of my transmog still. The reason for that is I don't believe demand has really kicked in yet. I'm hoping that when people come back for Firelands they're going to start doing the Molten Front dailies and they'll be thinking more about how their characters are actually going to look right now. Blades of Wizardry doing fine. They're now at around 4,500 gold from about 400 gold where most were bought. Tabard of the Lightbringer been up at around 100k. Most of these are bought below 25. I've been disappointed with Chromatic Swords. You know, a guy commented on a video saying he had hundreds of those stores and that he was going to be selling low. So maybe I did actually underestimate the supply. Maybe there were people like him who who just have been camping that elite for a while, that rare, and really did have hundreds. I don't know. Fingers crossed, though, that he'll have run out before I start selling in a later phase then. I've also made some short-term investments recently, including 41 Hurricane decks at 550 gold each. I'm happy to tell you most of them are now gone for about 1700 gold each. My volcanoes are mostly gone too. Uh, they've been pretty cheap. It's been a race to the floor on Gehennis, but it's a race I'm happy to be out of for now. The Darkmoon cards are still so, so lucrative, but it really is a pain and it's also quite... It takes a lot of your time to actually process them, but also... It is quite soul destroying to watch people just undercut and undercut and undercut by like 1k per time. Well, you definitely can make gold at the low prices. I would prefer them to be a bit higher. There you go. <laughs> so if you are looking to make gold right now, there are a few things I would recommend. Firstly, cooking. There's a bunch of recipes that people need for raids, as well as there's one for engineering. I've popped that on the screen right now. It's been doing really, really well. Potions. Potions Master is really strong at peak times. The only thing I would add though is make sure you don't hold your materials or your stock for too long. The difference in price between peak and off peak is absolutely huge. You want to be selling right as people are going into their raid. You don't want to be stuck on the night before reset at three o'clock in the afternoon trying to get rid of your stuff at a 50% discount. Next then, the one that you're probably all bored of hearing about from me, but it's glyphs. They are the gift that keep giving right now. Thousands of gold per day for a couple of post scans. Restocking, yep, it's annoying, but it can be done really, really quickly. So on to farming. Now, you've been asking for more farming videos. I have been trying. I really have. Um, someone here suggested the Pale Roost, so thank you very much for that. I actually really, really liked it. But there's always at least 900 people there wherever I, whenever I go. I even tried going at like 2 o'clock in the morning, but it's just the most contested area I've ever been to. I've also leveled my warlock. I've been trying to do some cool things with my pet where I send it in to pull like entire dungeons and then I teleport up and down and up and down. Then my pet dies and there's chaos and it's a bit of a nightmare if I'm honest. None of the ones I found so far are really good enough. Um, actually a bit of a request right here if you don't mind. Um, I have a problem where I'm being dismounted in like an outdoor dungeon 
Uh, I think I could do a really, really good farm there if I wasn't getting dismounted. This is on a warlock. So if anyone's got any anything for me that stops you being dismounted, then I'd appreciate that because I can't find anything myself. I don't want to have another character involved. So I don't want like a priest shield or anything. Uh, but yeah, I keep being dismounted. Really, really annoying. The other problem around the farms right now is that with the prices of everything coming down, it's even harder. No one's going to want to do insane farm, big gold, big gold, 750 gold per hour when they were doing 17,000 gold per hour last week. So lastly, Len, a quick update on season discovery. I'm on PTR a fair bit at the moment. I'm doing some wellhead guide right in, but also I'm finding you some farms and cool things for phase four. Once we've got a little bit more information on phase four professions, I'll get some videos sorted out. They've sort of said that like there's stuff changing, getting new recipes, but um, there's not really enough to go on to actually make any make any decisions or any worthwhile investments yet though unfortunately i am also planning to try out the war within i don't have very much retail gold at the moment um you might remember i made a video about uh a few months ago at that point i had ninety thousand gold i've managed to get that to about seven hundred thousand now but um i'm using mop remix mainly to try and create like an all army ready so look out for a video on that one no, I mean, really look out. You don't want to accidentally click on it if you hate retail. So that is everything from me today. I've been a little bit quiet on Discord. I'm super sorry about that. I should be more active over the next few weeks. I've got some more time off work coming up. And I'm really looking forward to catching up with everyone ready for Season of Discovery Phase 4. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you could, I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.